Welcome back to Big Board. Here we go. Looking at what if 1938 or 1938 what if one small step games. If you've seen the intro video, you'll know what it's all about. I'm not going to recap all of that stuff. I do want to uh, give you, however, a look at where we're at with this particular scenario and uh, you know the game in fact the game just comes with the one scenario so the when I first looked at this game at the beginning I had a uh, sense that it was gonna be very very difficult for the Germans to uh, be successful unless they got lucky with some die rolling because it's a dual front game we've got the activities going on with the Germans trying to push into uh, you know, Czechoslovakia uh, using the Poles as well you know uh, and then you've got the Soviets coming in uh, at the defense of or support of the Czechs and uh, you've got to manage this kind of front as well from East Prussia and you've got the Poles here and, and as you if you watch the video earlier on you'll know what the success criteria are in terms of victory and there's also a sudden death if any city is occupied by uh, any other, for any German cities occupied by anyone else other than German, then there's a problem as well. Uh, can kill the game. So, what we do get is, uh, which changed the, the, the game significantly, and probably a mistake, a tactical mistake the Czechs made, was uh, the moment you enter Germany, this division, or these sets of divisions, they're really sort of garrison forces, are... Uh, uh, are able to be placed anywhere in Germany, and I believe there's nine of them, I want to say, two, four, six, maybe eight of them, there you go, eight or so of them, and they are giving us an opportunity to put some coverage into the cities and prevent the Czechs from having that auto victory. So the very first move, if or second move as the case may be, if the Czechs move into Germany proper, it's going to activate in the next turn, it'll activate the checks. Oh, sorry, activate this uh, garrison force, etc. So that, that, that mitigates some of the risk that I saw early on, uh, thinking that it was impossible for the Germans to both guard their border, which is literally all the way around this area here, and penetrate through the fortress zones, these these squares, I don't know if you can see the squares with the with the video uh, resolution I've got set here, it seems pretty bright, but, uh, and then also try and, you know, the thwart the Soviet entrance. So what I did was put uh, all the armor over here and mechanized forces over here, and you race them down to take on the Soviets brought on a small force down in this area. We punched one of those pretty hard in the face, broke them, and that left just two cores down here of Soviets and then this little mechanized force here. Really never really got off the ground or got moving. And uh, the, the, uh, the, what was I gonna say? The, um, the Soviets up here, we just played uh, a dodging or, or delaying game until we could isolate forces and then, then attack them. So I piled up enough units here and, and, and hid behind a river to try and slow down the Soviets. Now, one thing that didn't happen in this game was the little Entente uh, did not come into effect. So there were extra German forces available. Uh, just because of the die rolls. So a couple of things that change the game significantly. And if you do have, if that little entente does happen, uh, I mean, it's game over for the Germans. I, I don't see how they can possibly uh, be successful losing, I think it's either five or seven steps they have to pull off the, off the map. It's a ridiculous number of units and it sways the game heavily. Now, here we are at the end of turn four and we've got all these Czech forces isolated. They're in cities. So it's minus two on the die roll, uh, uh, minus two on the die roll, minus two on the column shifts. So this is a, a, a raw three to one attack here uh, that'll that'll be going down. Uh, we put the Flieger uh, paratroop force on it and an air on it. 
and that helped you know neutralize the odds and so we got this raw three to one attack and we knocked off one step or two steps whoop de do so that would continue to occur that fighting will continue to occur i can't use this anymore but i will be able to use air if i if i receive it and uh, we'd be able to reduce that city and then all these guys can come over here and reduce this city so this this battle for the czech republic or the, the czech slovakian uh you know combo countries here is pretty much over uh, this guy's isolated here as well and uh, there's really no chance for you now, unless of course we roll. The, even if we rolled a little on time, I think I could pull. I could pull. You know, there's there's four steps right there. I could pull out, and I could probably pull uh, a couple more units out and not have it negatively affect the game. Uh, it might make it a little risky down here or potentially here, but we've we've whittled away the Soviet forces so much that I don't see them being much of a threat. So. Um, you know what do I think about this game? I, I my first impression was that it was woefully unbalanced against the the Germans and the Poles, but as you get into it, I can see there's a number of different strategies that could be pursued here. There are a lot of options in terms of your setup, uh, and in fact, I may not have actually set the checks up correctly because I believe they have to have a zone of control on every fortress hex. Uh, around their country, which prevents them from sort of massing forces. Um, that said, uh, the way that it's worded, it could mean also that the rule that that you have to have a uh, a zone of control over these fortress hexes as well. Which, if you do, then I think that that's going to make it a very a very porous area for the the Germans to be able to penetrate through. So I think there's lots of different strategies that can be pursued here. It's a fairly generic system with a couple of tweaks, right? Uh, so depending on how you roll for air and depending on how you roll for little entente and then depending on how you roll for combat results, I can make a very swingy game. And uh, I, I think it, it's interesting. It's good for a couple of plays here. I'd, I'd like to play this opposed, probably. Um, it's one of the. It's not. I'm not a huge fan of the map art and the map layout uh, in this particular game. So artistically, it doesn't really resonate with me very well. The gameplay was fast and fun, but it's not. Uh, you know, it's a what if. So it, it's really who knows whether you know what the exact forces were and what they really would have done or could have done or should have done uh, given the you know the premise that's been set up and that's one of the things with these what if games is that we can we can uh we can sit down and play it and appreciate it for a bit of fun like it was uh and but that's about the extent of it there's not a history lesson being learned here necessarily and uh you know for instance over here uh i, I cornered two cores and uh, the Germans beat up these cores because they couldn't because the, the the Soviets couldn't retreat into Lithuania. Now, who's to say that they wouldn't have retreated into Lithuania and caused some other act action to occur based on you know the set of treaties that were going on in the Sudetenland crisis at that time? So it was fun. Uh, I I I I don't know that uh, I don't know that it is a gripping game but it certainly was interesting i obviously this everything's fairly sort of genericized in terms of uh you know force capability and stuff like that i don't know how much it was play tested either because i can certainly see if you put some thought into this uh, on one side or the other that you could come up with some hacks here that uh you know it's a, it's a very quick win for the checks with a with a uh a uh, auto victory for them uh, by placing forces, if you're smart enough to get some forces here, and they're not, you haven't protected these cities well, you could uh, pick up a, a quick auto victory here. Similarly, for the Germans, they can, uh, you know, run this penetration uh, pretty hard here and screen like we did here, and then pick up the pick up the win within four or five turns anyway. So, all fun and games, not bad little magazine game. Uh, it uh, the the fight or move construct, it's uh, it's a tie bomber thing, and you either like it or you don't. 
and here it works well. So uh, well done everybody and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the quick little overview on, on the gameplay. Uh, you can check the earlier video out to uh, understand a little bit more about the, the setting, etc, etc. Alright, all the best.